homeschool mom here okay so and my name is Rory so I am okay I'm gonna share with you guys what the reason that I went to homeschool in the first place so my daughter was in private school she's been in public school private school and homeschool she's back in public school public school now but in all the schools what I noticed it might be the county honestly just ghetto um, ghetto fabulous you know professional ghetto ghetto ish as m one of my friends mom would say <laughs> but um, but what do you expect when we're at the bottom you know so I I found that the attitudes of many of the professionals the teachers was just foul and rude inappropriate disrespectful bully-ish and this was in the public and the private school setting and when it was in the private school setting I was like the hell if I'm gonna pay for you to bully my child that's not happening you know and my child um, when she was in those settings, she was more of a straight A student. And I remember one experience, she was bullied so badly by this teacher that she went from straight A's being the top of her class to getting E's and D's because she became disenchanted with school altogether. The teacher would say stuff like, and go tell your mama that. <laughs> she would tell my child in front of the class she would bully her and then say go tell your mama because I was quick to respond and my daughter was like a reporter she would come tell me what the heck happened in school good bad or ugly she would tell me what she did wrong she would tell me what other people did wrong you know what I'm saying and it just it she was bullied so much by this teacher that I wrote an 11 page letter to the NAACP, the Board of Education, and to the school. And I went up in there, and the, the, the principal was like, I got your 11-page letter. I was like, mm-hmm. And I documented everything, okay? And um, I, I, because I was ready to knock somebody out, okay? Bully my damn child. So... I went up there, I, I discussed my issues, and this was at a charter school. And I and it was supposed to be like an advanced charter school. And but I mean, like, really? Like, what are the kids learning when in, in math you're teaching a new skill every day? So you introduce a new skill every day. This is my second problem. The unit bullies the first problem, introduce a new skill every day. Okay, it was like 11 different ways to do long division. Who, what? When I was in school, it was like two, okay? I mean, one you could do it in your head or whatever. You did one this way, one the other way. It was like three, okay? Why you need nine, 10, 11 different ways to do long division? Why? I don't understand. Why? Okay, but they would have a new skill every day. And then they would introduce it. That's what they would say. We were introduced, introduced. And then they come home and I got to learn your new skill because y'all have made up new stuff, right? So I got to learn your new skill and I have to teach it for mastery because all y'all do is introduce, okay? Y'all don't teach for mastery. You introduce. You introduce a new skill every freaking day. How is somebody supposed to master something if you introduce a new skill every day? I don't understand. So, when I talked to the Board of Education, I was told that mastery was 70% or 75%. What? That's mastery? Are you freaking kidding me? That's almost failing. When I was in school, a C was like average. And get a 70, that's almost getting to below average. What the fuck? And you saying that's mastery? Oh my God. 
No wonder we're at the bottom because your standards are low. You expect nothing. You expect mediocrity from these children. That's why that's what you're getting. That's why half the kids be dropping out of school. They're apathetic. They don't give a freaking frack anymore. You are throwing too much at them. A new skill every day is insanity and thinking that a C is, is good the hell okay <laughs> those were my main reasons i just i just felt the school system was ass backwards and i just was like this is insanity to me and then i wanted my child to be more well-rounded with her education. And I don't believe in just learning something to pass a test because that really doesn't do much for you, you know? And and then you definitely gonna forget it right afterwards because you didn't master it in the first place. But my child was the type that had a great memory. So she could ace the stuff, but did she really know it? Mm-mm. No, because you're throwing too much at these kids. And what do you really want from them? Do you really want them to learn? Or is this just so you could get some money so that you could get funding for this? Are you just trying to get some scores so that you get some money? Like, what the heck? Do y'all really care about these children? And that, that was my problem. And different, it, it was other things that happened. But those were the main things. I just didn't believe in the teaching style of this county. And the the public and the private school were similar. I had bullying in the private school. I was like, I'm paying for a bully? Girl, I will knock you out. You keep messing with my child. And so, you know, so that was just that. So that's why I left and went to homeschooling and for the most part i would say that it was a great experience i definitely recommend homeschooling for whatever reason you have you know it's more going on now as to reasons why i would probably homeschool especially if i had a little person with the things that they're forcing on these children so young um I, and i'm not getting into that but if I had a, a little person, really little person, I would probably homeschool big time. Because, and, and the, the system, unless I lived in a county that had a great school system. Like when I lived in Texas, I lived in the Plano School District. At the time, I think they were the number two school district in the country. And I had no issues with her education from, uh, from, uh what age three in this in the in the settings that she was in she was at primrose school out there that no issues when i was in plano texas but when i came back to this place my lord why did i do this but anyway y'all <laughs> i'll see y'all in the next one